What it do my good people in the YouTube world It's your boy B And I'm right back up at y'all with another one you dig And today I'm gonna talk about the fight that happened Between my main man Andre Durrell and James DeGale and I'm just gonna let y'all know, man, it was a great fight, man. It was a fight filled with ups and downs, twists, and everything. And I'm gonna let y'all know what I thought about the fight. Now, I'm, I looked at two different um, broadcasts of the fight. I looked at the UK broadcast and also seen the American broadcast. And I think the judges got it wrong, man, but I can see it going either way. You feel me? The first round, I clearly gave it to um, Andre Durrell. Um, I was looking at the UK broadcast, and they gave the fifth, the fourth, and the fifth round. They gave the fourth round to um, Durrell, and they uh, scored a 10-10 for the fifth. And I just let you know how close it was. So all you cats out there talking about this boy DeGale swept the first six rounds, be easy, man. It wasn't that easy to score. You know, he tried to steal it in uh, the last couple of minutes by landing uh, big blows. But for the majority of the, the, the fourth round, the fifth round, and the sixth round, Darrell uh, controlled it. Then we all know what happened from about the seventh to the tenth. Those were clear Andre Darrell rounds. All right. Then going into the 11th and the 12th, I had the Gal winning the 11th slightly, and I had uh, Darrell winning the 12th slightly. And on my card, I had Darrell winning by one point, but I can't complain and call it a robbery because it could have gone either way. And shout out to DeGale. There's nothing to take away from his performance because that boy did his thing, man. And I definitely want to see him further in his career because that was um an excellent fight. He showed a lot of heart. He got cut in the first round. The blood was pouring from his head. He landed a hellacious shot that put Darrell on his ass. But Darrell showed a lot of um a lot of heart. You know what I mean? This was something that we always questioned in Darrell. I obviously thought, I honestly thought he would be on his feet more in this fight. But he walked that boy down and showed me a lot. I mean, he fought uh, Carl Froch a different way. He fought Arthur Abraham a different way. And, uh, you know, he was looking good out there. Walking the gal down, I think, in the 10th round. I saw the gal not even wanting to be in the fight no more. Like, you got to look at people's... Uh, gestures and the movements they make in the ring Darrell was pushing this boy back and he's looking up at the clock to see how much time is left and what round he's in to me that's not a good sign it showed me that you don't want to be where you are you feel me but like I said I can't complain about the decision because it was a very 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 close fight that could have gone any way but I tell y'all this I would definitely wait to see a rematch man because you know, I left a sour taste in a couple people's mind. Um, I, like I said before, I'm heavy on these message boards. And, <clears throat> of course, you get the crazy people, some crazy people saying that, uh, you know, the gal dominated. But, come on, it really ain't like that. You know what I mean? Everybody saw that. It was a very close fight. And on the message boards, I'm actually seeing people say, that uh, they gave Darrell the fight. They say it's either a draw, Darrell one by one, or DeGale by one, one by one. So, <clears throat> what more can you say about a boxing match? That's what we want. You know, two people that are equally talented, and they going at it showing grit, determination, and heart. This was a fight that made me fall back in love with boxing. You feel me? Not much you can say bad about either fighter. You feel me? Now going forward into the 168 division I'm going to do a video On that boy Triple G Going up against Carl Frotch And I'm going to let these cats know One thing right now man It's like this Don't fall into the same trap They falling into that same trap Of the most feared this and the most feared that We saw that with Margarito We saw you cats saying that Mayweather was scared of Pacquiao we see it all the time, so just be easy with that most fair stuff, man, because there is somebody at 168 calling that boy out. 
And he only want to move up for certain fighters. And he may be biting off more than he could chew if he go up there against Frotch. You feel me? Because I remember after the Super 6, arguing with mad people talking about, oh, that boy Lucian Butte is, is a beast. And, you know, he's the best. And that, uh, you know, he, he could beat everybody in Super 6. And that <coughs> he should fight um, Andre Ward. After Andre Ward just fought the best in the division and he sat out. And they really fight nobody. But they was telling me that Andre Ward needed to fight this boy to prove his greatness. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. That boy got to fight somebody to prove his greatness. So he went up against Carl Frotch. And you seen what Frotch did to him. Drop the boy. I'm a lit man. I'm going to give y'all a little preview of what I'm going to say about this Triple G versus Frotch situation. Number one, Triple G moving up in weight. He has never faced anybody throwing as hard as Carl Frotch. People say Carl Frotch's defense is shaky, but yo, he's very awkward. You don't see him get hit with a lot of clean, clean shots. You show it with Groves, but Groves is a fast fighter with fast hands. That's what he has problems with. Triple G is not that type of fighter. You might see that boy Triple G go down and all y'all hopes and dreams of uh, <laughs> uh, another fair fighter that y'all like to see these uh, Eastern European people, you know what I mean, coming up looking like machines. Y'all like that, you know, because I think in the U.S. we still feel fear the Soviet Union, you know what I mean? So you look at Rocky and you look at who Rocky was fighting and the damn killer or whatever. Was, was a Soviet Union dude That go back to the history of uh, the United States Man, you know what I mean Even the street fighter When you look at uh, the fighter from USSR You feel me You see that fear that we have of them But that's neither here nor there man Just keep it tuned in the inner loop It's your boy B and I'm right back up at y'all Yeah, yeah, yeah